And so um, I want to uh, just get into this, fam, because um, y'all need to be educated on this. You know, when I thought, you know, hey, the Most High looked at me as special, this dis-ease that they say is a rare of the rare. She knows about it. She learned about it in med school. Um, and it's something that um, most of the doctors I've spoke with say, this is rare. This is, this is like rare. Um, I had this small pain in my stomach. And this pain in my stomach, it was not really, I'd say on a scale of one to 10, because that's what y'all like to do. Scale one to 10, what's the pain? Ah, like you really know, like that too, I guess. So, you know, about six months or so, when I was taking a shower, I kind of felt this little dull, little pain on my stomach. Uh, and I was like, oh, that's a little odd. And uh, just went on and stuff like that. And when I was in Brazil, I started to feel, I started to feel an ache and pain. I started feeling some pain. Well, in that pain, the, uh, I said, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that because when it comes to your man, I'm always on my, my health. I'm, I don't, I'm not afraid of doctors. I'll go to the doctors and all. So July to what day? So you got all these days, July the 10th, they, they had scheduled me to go ahead and have an endoscopy and a colonoscopy done. And so they go in, I have a polyp in my colon. They remove it. Of course, they're going to run a biopsy on it. They're going to test non-cancerous and they get to my upper, they go in there and they say, it's got two masks. But we do biopsy and we're gonna run a tick, run test on it. So they come back and say, it's not cancer, it's amyloidosis. Amyloidosis. What the heck is an amyloidosis? Would you care to share? I mean, I can go into it and share, but in its briefest term, Share it's rare to share what it is that y'all learned and which we know now today. So amyloid is a protein that is made by the cells in the bone marrow. And it's not supposed to be made. It's the plasma cells that are in the bone marrow lay down this particular protein that can go to any part of the body and it's abnormal. It infiltrates different tissues it's abnormal. And it's rare. Now, I like to be special in the, in, the, in the sight of the Lord. As he said, we're peculiar people. We are special people. And I got a special amyloidosis. They were saying that is less than 1% of the population. And this amyloidosis is even rarer if it's in your digestive. Because this thing here, one, could be deadly. Amyloidosis, A M Y L O I D S. It's in the chat. Somebody put it in. Anita okay. Ask, put it in the chat. Thank you, Anita. Appreciate that. And I'm looking this up, and the doctor told me, "Yeah, that's amyloidosis." And I'm looking at my wife because she been uh, like, "What is this?" But we left when we got the results in, and it was a rush to get me checked from head to toe because my plasma cells are producing this protein that can be dispersed throughout your body and it goes to your organs. And when it goes to your organs, it can weigh your organs down to cause them dis to dysfunction or to malfunction. And so that rush was like, we need to do tests on you. Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Lexi. Last night, after not posting any videos on his YouTube channel for four months, Go Black to Africa went live to share with his subscribers the reason for his long absence. Sadly, as you just heard, he has been ill and recently diagnosed with amyloidosis, a rare disease characterized by a buildup of abnormal amyloid deposits in the body. In amyloidosis, Abnormal proteins in the body change shape and clump together to form amyloid fibrils. Those fibrils build up in tissues and organs, which can stop them from working properly. Without treatment, amyloidosis can lead to organ failure and can be fatal. 
people of African descent may have a higher risk of carrying a genetic mutation linked to a type of amyloidosis that affects the heart and often causes carpal tunnel syndrome. There is no cure for amyloidosis. Goblack's doctor will prescribe treatments to slow the development of the amyloid protein and manage his symptoms. So what does this mean? Well, the life expectancy and survival rates vary based on the type of amyloidosis an individual has. The average life expectancy after diagnosis is 11 years, but could be as little as four. And if the disease is not detected in a timely manner, it could be at most a few months. So as you can see, Go Black to Africa is facing a life-threatening condition and needs all of the prayers and spiritual support that we can give him. Please go over to his channel and send him prayers and good wishes as he navigates this new challenge in his life. To learn more about amyloidosis, look for the link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.